something can be hard and good at the same time, you know? So I feel like this journey for me has been extremely hard. And at the same time, it has been everything we needed and more, if that makes sense. We are the Falco family, where every day is an adventure of faith and love. So we live and we learn. Okay, so. I'm trying to be celebratory today. <laughs> this was my 10th year as homeschool mom, y'all. And I'm actually not the best at celebrating myself. So this time around, I wanted to do just that. The easiest way to celebrate is with a photograph, you know, to document the times. And I got these balloons because they're just fun. I'm gonna blow these up. And we're gonna try to either go to the bike trail and take a picture or take it here, it depends on what we end up having going on or how much of a fuss I wanna make about it. But it is officially the end of this school year and we are going to be cycling over into the next. I love this time of year. <laughs> I really like it. I feel like all my wheels get turning and I really needed that because I have really been lacking on the inspiration lately. I was gonna have the kids blow these up, but the last time I tried to have them blow up the number balloons, they popped them. Also, this is the first time I am vlogging on my new camera. Um, I started a blog post about 10 years of homeschool and wrapping that up. And so, so rounding out Teacher Appreciation Week was Mother's Day, and for Mother's Day, I got this new camera. So I'm very, very excited because um, I've had the last camera for many a year. Actually, I feel like all 10 years. So my first 10 years of homeschool life, I had um, my Canon G7X and now I am cycling over into Sony's. Um, I replaced my big camera with a Sony and now I have a Sony vlogging camera and it is the cutest little thing. When I get a second, I can show you. But that was my surprise for teacher appreciation last Mother's Day. So that was really exciting. And I got myself a little tripod and did get myself a couple of other things, you guys, because it was so sweet. They celebrated me for teacher appreciation on Mother's Day this year. But just in case they didn't, you know, your girl needed to make sure she knew she was loved, okay, and appreciated. So I did purchase a couple of things just. To say thank you to me you know i want to thank me for all this hard work that type of deal so i did get myself a few things and i will show you those things um today too so yeah just spend a few hours of my day with me also also is sundress season and i love that for me nothing more comfortable as homeschool mom than to just wear dresses comfy flowy dresses we got one done We're all done. All right. Is this the right way? <laughs> okay. I've been all the way in my feelings about it though because I should be celebrating. It is a really wonderful accomplishment. And all at the same time, I just keep thinking about all of the challenges over the years. Um, I have to do a better job at not letting the memory of those challenges um, overshadow the um, the beauty of the accomplishment does that make sense um, because something can be hard and good at the same time you know so I feel like this journey for me has been extremely hard and at the same time it has been everything we needed and more if that makes sense so hopefully I can get my thoughts out correctly in this blog post and then get it posted. I also want to try to edit this video and get it up without waiting too long because that's been my problem. Um, I film a bunch of stuff and I drop it into my hard drive and then it's just really hard for me to get back to it and edit and I want to just do a better job at that because this keeps beautiful memories for me and it makes it so that I can connect with you guys along the way. I am loving this color. I feel like my official colors, like our official colors for Falco family are definitely 
the shades of blue, the shades of blue and pink. So <laughs> I'm right on brand and I didn't even plan it. Let's go see if these kids will take pictures with me. So my first teacher's appreciation gift to myself. Y'all know I love neon lights and things. And um, one of the projects that we're going to be doing is somewhat of an audio podcast style with the kids. And so I thought it would be really cute since we are always recording around here, whether it's Brian um, and him being on a call or us um, recording, maybe the kids recording for some of their coding projects or me recording. I thought it would be really cute to have like a on air, currently filming type of light. So I found this one that fits perfectly in this corner just plugs in down here and it's so cute yeah so makes me happy can you see it in the background the lights always do not show up well on the camera can't see them well on camera here but they're so cute and just set a nice little scene that I love along with our always learning light so we kind of have a routine you know when it is study time we turn on our light when it's filming time we turn on our live light it's just all the shiny things y'all know I like this <laughs> why am I like this I don't know but it makes me happy so we do it okay so this is the part of the vlog where things got interesting um, somehow, using my new camera, I changed a setting and ended up recording the rest of the footage in slow motion and without any audio. So I'm going to try to walk you through what I was talking about. Let's just hope I can get this right. <laughs> anyway, um, I showed you my shiny new camera. I really like it so much. I just need some more time to figure it all out. And then I went and grabbed um, things that I could show you, things that I got myself and that were gifted to me for Teacher Appreciation Week and Mother's Day. So the first thing I am showing you here is um, my planner. Um, I have decided to use different planners uh, for this coming year, and I'm kind of excited about it. Basically, all of this that I'm saying right now is about how I typically always plan with my iPad and I have loved that for so many years. Um, everything is all in one space and syncs so well with all of my devices and it has been amazing. See, this is what I'm talking about, everything being all in one place here. Um, but now I really need to cut the overwhelm and I wanted to try try my hand at using different planners for different things. So um, I have decided to use bullet journal style uh, planners this time around just because it's very open-ended but still gives me space to switch things up um, if I would like to. So this is my personal planner. I love the size. I love the color. It feels so good in my hands. Um, and I'm going to be using that for for just writing down notes, for planning content, um, for mapping out what we do during the homeschool day, and then setting some goals for myself personally in that planner. So I don't know what I'm saying at this current time, but it all has something to do with all of that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty much talking here about how overwhelming life has been as of late and I just need to try to split things up a little bit so I could compartmentalize um, and not feel so overwhelmed by everything being all in one place. That's pretty much what I'm saying here. So the next thing I have is my passport traveler's notebook. Oh my gosh, this one feels so good in my hands. I have something really special planned for this notebook um, and I wanted I love the size. I really want to be able to just drop it in my purse and keep it with me at all times. So hopefully in the future, I will share with you what I end up doing with this traveler's notebook. Um, it's actually something really special and near and dear to my heart. So we will see how that goes. I started to decorate it a little bit and I have some plans for making um, some DIY leather pockets for the front. Um, and all that jazz. Along with my traveler's notebook, I 
got my first fountain pen. Um, I'm forever influenced by my best friend. And when I went to go and visit her not too long ago, she has been using and obsessed with fountain pens. And so I decided to get one for myself. Um, I found this fountain pen, which I absolutely love, uh, mainly because of the size. There were a couple of reasons why I chose them. I have been having some major challenges with my hand and them cramping. So I really wanted to try a fountain pen because I heard that it was really easy um, in that you don't have to use so much pressure when writing. So hopefully I can get in more time writing without my hand cramping. And then also the size of it feels really nice. I don't have to hold my hand so tight while I'm writing. So I use that along with my Traveler's Notebook and then also I am showing you now my newest journal. <laughs> I love things like this. Again, it feels so good in my hands. I love the blue. I love the keepsake quality of it all. So I wanted to have a space where I could start writing out my story. I've talked about this in different places on my blog and on my Instagram randomly if you're like an OG and really follow along. But I really wanted to be able to leave behind or just leave um, all these stories about how I lived and learned. And I love to put that in a nice keepsake journal. So that was top tier gift for me. And now I am showing you my newest cell phone case, <laughs> my phone case. This phone case, I couldn't pass it up. I'm forever switching them up and changing them out. Um, but I love that phone case. It's very much so giving memory keeper. Um, so next, I am showing you the... I think this is the last gift that I have. And I'm basically kind of sharing um, about faith and how I don't really share too much in social spaces about faith directly. Um, it is a massive part of who I am and the things that we do, why we do them, who we are as a family. And basically here, I'm just kind of sharing about why I don't really talk about it as much as I would like to. And mainly that has a lot to do with the fact that it's just not up for debate and or discussion. Um, what I believe in the faith that I have is mine and it belongs to me and I hold it near and dear to my heart and it is not up for debate or discussion, friends. So, <laughs> so um, I don't know. I'm really just praying and thinking about that and sharing and I've been re wrestling with that. But this last gift is um, my latest Bible. I over the last few months, I started a collection of Bibles. I have 12 in total. Yes, I have 12 Bibles total. And I love the system that I have been creating for keeping the best keepsake um, on my faith journey. So this one here is the Artesian collection. I just thought it was really pretty. It has those pinks and those blues and all of that jazz. And it's a journaling Bible for me to just, you know, keep all of the memories of my personal journey a face. So now I headed on into the playroom where Savannah had finished this puzzle. Your girl does so many puzzles. She's so good at putting together these puzzles. So this one is a 500 piece puzzle. This cottage is so cute. It has little deer, birds, flowers, and she's just been the best at putting those together. So I have to get her more to add to her collection. Then I showed you some Sharpies. <laughs> I got the skin tone colored ones and then the kids were finally ready to head out and take some pictures with me. I had to rally the crew all together. <laughs> Clearly we have our balloons all out of order but Savannah is getting us right as she always does and then we just spent some time taking some pictures so that I could have for my memories. I'm going to take these photos and print them out and put them like scrapbook style in my journal to commemorate 10 years of homeschool life. Savannah is always and forever my hype woman and she <laughs> made sure that the joy was all around me and I love her so much for it. I love them so much. After that, I went and had to fix a nail for my lady. And so I love doing these types of things with her. She's such the best of both worlds. She can get right in it with her brothers and then she can also still be that girly girl that we love so much. So anyway, fix her nail and then back out there to 
get some more shots in. It just took me a lot longer than I wanted it to this time around to get some pictures, but that's always the case. Uh, so we just had fun taking pictures with our big 10 and celebrating 10 years of life as homeschool mom. And look at my sweet girl in this slow-mo footage. I had to include it because she's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so then I sat down and I chatted all about all the things that I cannot remember right now. But basically, the gist of it was that I was sharing about how I am going to be writing in my blog post and finishing that up just to have some final thoughts on 10 years of life as homeschool mom. Y'all know how it is. It's so many ups and downs, at least for us it has been. And I think that my biggest triumph in this last 10 years of homeschool life has been just that, that we're still in it. <laughs> like we're still going, we're still here. We're still thriving, and that is triumph enough. Um, I think my biggest trial is the fact that there have been so many. I didn't expect for there to be so many, one after the other. It's like when I get a handle on one thing, there's a new thing that tends to pop up. So I'm working on that. I don't know if it's a matter of the way that I'm looking at things or not being as inviting of the challenges as I should be. I don't know. It's forever like a work in progress. But um, I have loved all 10 years of it and would not trade it for any other. So yeah, I basically spent very many minutes saying exactly what I just said right now. <laughs> So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Have you, are you homeschooling? How long have you been homeschooling? Has it been on and off? What have been your trials and your triumphs? Share all of the things with me. And I was so sad that I didn't have the audio um, and I had to do this voiceover instead. And I really hope that I am able to get the point across. Y'all see how passionate I was about it. I'm um, using my hands so emphatically <laughs> to express to you my heartfelt sentiments about this last 10 years of homeschool and life. But um, yeah, life is really so very full of lessons. And y'all know that our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. So thanks so much for joining me today in this vlog. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.